Uh, any updates on that? Well, why don't you ask me specifically what, about what, some Kevin Cummings. Cummings. Kevin's out uh, indefinitely. Maybe he could be back for a bowl game. He had surgery today on his uh, wrist. Mike, did it happen on the last play of the game? No, it would happen earlier, actually. Oh. Yeah. How big of a loss, Mike, in terms of all that he does for you is that? It's bad. Uh, you know, I, I really will miss him. He's such an easy guy to coach. His experience and savvy and his investment was huge. So... You know, these guys that are coming in have to really step up to, to fill that void. You know, Micah Hatfield and Malik Gilmore will be the guys. How about at the uh, tight end position? You've got some mounting injuries there as well. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know where Caleb Smith is. He might be able to play. And then Connor Hamlet's actually doing very well. So we'll see if he, we can get him back for the game. Yeah. Six games, Mike, I was checking the USC. 14 or less, I didn't realize it was that good. So yeah. you're expecting another real strong defense. Oh, really good defensive football team. Good football, lots of talent on this team. So, you know, we're going to have to play a whale of a game to beat them, and, and uh, we're just going to have to do a much better job of blocking up front than we did a week ago. Did, did Stanford good preparation for a team like Yeah, I think, so. I think so. You know, as far as our offense for sure is concerned, it was, uh, and probably the whole game, very similar type approaches. Uh, SC's got great running backs. Obviously, they always have the linemen and the receivers. So yeah, it is. Uh, it would, probably was good preparation, very eye-opening, I think. Is there any difference in what you see on tape before, you know, when Lane was still there, to Lane being gone, any, any nuances? Oh, yeah, not necessarily. Uh, you know, I'm sure they, you know, if you really studied the differences, they might have added a play or something. Uh, but uh, not really. How impressive was that film in the second half for USC's defense against Utah? Yeah, they, they, uh, you, and we all know Utah can really move the ball. So what they did uh, was very, very impressive. Um, and, and really, it's been very consistent. When you look at all their scores, except the Arizona State game got out of hand a little bit. But besides that, the very, very good defense all the time. <clears throat> kind of old-fashioned scores when you look at SC scores. You know, it's, uh, it, there's no doubt about the talent on that team. Mike, you said it was going to be tough to watch the Stanford film. Was it tougher than you anticipated, and what jumped out at you? Oh, you know, uh, when we finally get to it, you know, it's you, you look at the opportunities that are there, and it's very disappointing, but you're also using it as a tool to get ready to help your players get better for this week. And from a protection standpoint, Mike, what were the biggest things that, that you saw happen with, that Stanford was able to do? Well, uh, they, they for sure... Uh, you know, had us uh, a few times with missed assignments where we just absolutely didn't block the, the right guy. Uh, and then we got beat one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I mean, it's, so it's a, it, it usually is with a rough day like that, a combination of those two things.